Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC high speed counter input and the mode that we'll be looking at is the high speed count mode. And what we're going to be doing is connecting a, um, a pickup to our input to the Click PLC and this is a, a magnetic pickup from Dart and this, this particular model will give me 10 pulses per rev revolution of our motor and this is actually the uh, diagram of it so we basically it's just mounts on the motor shaft itself we can tell RPM etc this is just one type of input that we can have and it will give me an output of either a sourcing or sinking load yeah it's universal and all I do is put my voltage onto there so in my particular case I'm going to wire this up as a sinking load so I have my zero volts going in from my dart pickup then my power um, my red conductor and then my output signal is going to my first input of my click and my common here is sitting at plus voltage so that's my wiring diagram so looking at the actual uh, PLC uh, software in order to do the high-speed counters we first of all um, they're available on all the faster Ethernet units with DC inputs so over half of the uh, click can be uh, used. The high-speed counter itself can go up to a hundred kilohertz so that's a, a hundred thousand counts per second. So up here what you'll see is I'm connected onto my PLC and all I have is my end statement here. And there's a couple different ways we can get to the high-speed count input. We can use this icon up here in our main toolbar it will actually connect to us we can look at the uh, function and go down to our high-speed input uh, so that's a, another way of doing it and there's a third way through the main menu we can also go to that through there so let's just use the icon we'll call that up and what you'll see is we get a, a screen that helps us the high-speed count high-speed input configuration this is our CPU here so it knows that we have eight DC inputs and of those um, the first um, six can be actually used for the pulse inputs meaning the first uh, three functions or four functions that we see on the left hand side here so these involve the pulse uh, going in then the other two here can be used um, only for these other three so the external interrupt the pulse catch and the filter and it shows you my output so right now I have nothing I'm using so I can hit the use this mode which is my high-speed count mode and it gives you a little uh, diagram to show you exactly what it's going to do so let's use this mode and we get another menu and it currently shows us that um, this is how it, it counts on the leading edge of your input signal and what we'll do is we'll say our input uh, pulse input right now it's set for up count you can see that if we had down count um, it would be on the down count and you can see here we go negative one two so it shows us that again in a diagram we can do up down counts um, we could do pulse and direction we can do quadrature A and B, so one leads or lags by uh, 90 degrees. And we can also do quadrature AB with a Z, and the Z being a pulse every usually 360 degrees to zero out that, high, uh, that counter. So in our particular case, we're just using an up count, and we'll select our input on the rising edge. And You'll notice that now it only shows us the first six that we can actually choose from. So we'll choose the very first one here, X0. And I'll just hit OK. And it automatically brings that down for me. Everything's good, so you'll see a check mark here for me. Then our current count value, we can assign a, a location to put it. And we'll just default that to the first one, DD1. So again, we have the green check mark everything looks good so if we don't do anything right now that's how our our 
uh, information set up. We have our input, we have our output where the count value goes into. However, we can also use presets. So if we hit the use preset, you will see a diagram how we can now set up our presets on this counter itself. So what you'll see is that we have um, our preset one, two and three. And what we'll do is hit use preset. So the first uh, item here, we're going to say action after matching a preset. We're going to control discrete output built in CPU. Then we're going to start our starting address. So let's choose uh, DD10. Then you notice also automatically um, will tell us the number of presets here. And let's use three presets. So you see it automatically will set up 12, 13, and 14 as our preset values. Then what we'll say is we will reset the counter after matching the last preset, so it automatically resets for us. Then we'll use our built-in outputs, use Y, 1, 2, and 3. And similar to our drum mechanism, we can now specify what outputs will be energized. Um, on our outputs here. So our default presets, let's put the first one at 10, the next one at say 100, and the third one at 200. You'll see that it automatically sets up my chart so I can see exactly what's happening. And on my output side, after everything's reset, I want the first output on. So we put that, we just click it and it will block that out. Then after 10 we'll turn output 1 off on the first preset and output 2 on. Then once we get to 100 we will turn output 2 off and turn output 3 on. Now when it gets to 200 it actually will reset back to 1 again. So my outputs are automatically being triggered. So we'll just hit OK for that. So that is my setup and everything here is checkmarked. We have all green lights, so everything's good to go. So we'll hit OK. And you'll notice that it automatically assigns nicknames to my variables. This one's high speed counter one. So we'll hit OK. Now looking back here to my, my high speed counter mode, I know that I now have this set up. There's my high speed count one input up, and there are my three outputs I've used to control hit OK there and now what we will do is we will transfer this to the PLC and we will go ahead and say OK we're going to transfer that we'll proceed with a run time transfer uh, yes we can proceed so it's going to write that project into the PLC so now we have our program all set up. Now if we actually look at our hardware, you will see here that I'm connected through my Ethernet port to my Click, and I have my um, Dart magnetic pickup connected to a drill, which will give me my pulse going into my input. And you can see my, um, my red or my plus voltage is being picked up, plus 24, as well as um, my black wire is going to my zero volts and my white wire is going to my input X1 just as we discussed in our diagram and my common point here is going down to my plus voltage so this is my sinking my load so if we were to currently right now we're connected we are running the program and you'll notice that all I have is my program here on my screen is my end screen or my end instruction. So there's no actual ladder logic to look at. So if we look at the uh, data monitor, here I have the data monitor and DD1 tells me my current value that we've actually uh, programmed in and we have zero pulses right now. DD10 tells me we have three uh, set points uh, 11 and then we have the 12 or, or we're on set point number one then on 
DD12, we have our set point values of 10, 100, and 200. So now what we can do is we're online, we're monitoring. Let's give us a few pulses. Okay. So what you'll see is automatically, um, you can see that as we get uh, past 10, right, our current value is 16 right now, we can we keep going. Now we're at 2. Now as soon as we get to 100, we'll go to the next. There's my out, next output going on. Then what we'll do is we'll, we won't do anything until we get up to 200. And then what happens, we reset and output number uh, X or Y1 now turns on. So without any programming at all, I've now uh, programmed in this high speed counter and I'm firing off my outputs as I go along. So basically in independent of any ladder logic that we see in our program, we can actually uh, use this instruction. So you can see it's very straightforward, very easy to use. Now if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. And I really hope that you liked it. And if you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. And if you want more information about us, or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos just like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.